Hey guys, welcome. Okay, so glyphs are a really simple way to make your <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Kaylin, an artsy farty weirdo from Joburg. I hope that you guys are having a great weekend. In today's video, I'm going to be going over a feature called Glyphs in Silhouette Studio Designer Edition and above. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so I'm in Silhouette Studio and we're going to come over to the right hand panel and then we're going to select the textile panel, which is this little A with a line next to it. And that's how we're going to access our glyphs. So you don't need the designer edition to do this. You can just use the character map that comes with Windows PCs. I'm not too sure about Mac. I I don't really work with Mac. I don't have a Mac computer. So you don't necessarily need designer edition or business edition to access this. But it does make it a bit easier in terms of you don't have to kind of jump to character map um, every time you want to add a glyph to your text. All right, so I'm going to choose a text. So we're going to come over to this little icon. It looks like a G, and this is just basically the glyphs panel. And then we're going to select our font. I have quite a few fonts uh, that I've bought that have a lot of glyphs. Now, don't ask me which ones they are, because <laughs> I actually have no idea. Um, so obviously you can see here that this is where we can select our fonts. Um, okay, so I've decided to go with a font called Heart Attack, which I have purchased. I think I got it off of Font Bundles. Um, and these have really, really great glyphs. So the first thing I should have done <laughs> is type out my text. So I'm just going to do that now. The um, textile panel stays open, so that's okay. So I'm just going to type out welcome. And glyphs are really nice if you want to, say, make a farmhouse sign or a welcome sign for your front porch. Uh, glyphs are a really great way that you can just add flourishes to your text and just make it a little bit more fancy. So I've typed out the word welcome. I'm just going to enlarge it a little bit. I'm also going to go to my page setup and I'm just going to take off my grid so that you guys can see what I'm doing. There we go, that's a lot better. Okay, so I'm gonna go over to the glyphs again. And then obviously you need to make sure that you have your font selected. And then I'm just gonna scroll down to the glyphs that I want. So my words end, they start, it starts with um, W and ends with E. So I'm gonna look for W, yeah, and as you can see, it brings up all the different flourishes for the different letters, which oh, is so beautiful. I don't actually use glyphs that often. I just feel like it makes my projects too big. Okay, so I'm going to add my glyphs. So all I'm going to do is I am going to delete my W and then I'm going to click on the W here and then it will add it in Silhouette Studio. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I need to just use this more often. And then I'm going to come over to the E and I'm just going to click on that. And there we go. My glyphs are added. And there we have our text with some flourishes. So the other way that you can do this, and this is the more complicated way, I think. So you can do this with character map. Char <laughs> so you can do this with character maps. So if you just come over to your search bar. And you can just type in character map. And then Windows should bring it up for you. Then you just click on this uh, application. Okay, and then Windows will bring up all your different fonts as long as they are installed. And I have the Heart Attack font selected, so I'm just going to go to H. Right, and I'm going to select my font. And then Character Map will bring up all the glyphs as well. So you don't need Silhouette Studio Designer Edition to do this. Uh, 
but if you do have designer edition or above it just makes it easier and it's one less step that you need to take so for example we can just uh, select the w and then we can come down here to copy and it's kind of just the same we'll have to go back into silhouette studio and then we just press Control v that pastes our w and it's kind of the same thing All right, so back in the glyphs panel, if we come down here, we can see that we can uh, use the slider to make uh, the glyphs larger or smaller, which is pretty self-explanatory. It just kind of uh, zooms in for you a little bit so you're not having a hard time finding the glyph. And there you have it a font with some beautiful flourishes so that is it from me i hope that you found the video helpful if you did be sure to subscribe it motivates me to keep creating content for the channel thank you so much if you made it this far i really do appreciate you and i will see you in the next video bye